Hello Python programmers, this is AK. In this video, we are going to create a simple idea of an AI assistant that clears your doubts while you are writing the assignment about your particular topic. So this video is an upgradation of the previous video. So please watch the previous video for better understanding. Otherwise, no problem. First watch this video. After that, you watch that video. Okay. So I plan to create a complete playlist tutorial for creating a personal assistant like Jarvis in Python. I already uploaded the first video of an AI assistant that can do the process of sending automated emails to the receivers. So my aim is for each video there will be one task that should be automated by the assistant. You can expect more videos of this type. First I just explain what are the things that we need to make this script. Here we need three modules or packages in Python. The first one is the speech recognition library. It helps to record the real time audio from our microphone. And the next one is the Wikipedia library. It helps to produce the answers to your questions from the Wikipedia website. And the third one is the Python text to speech library. It is used to convert the text form of data into the speech form. Okay. Now we need to initialize the text to speech library engine. Without initialization, we cannot able to do the text to speech process in this code. So the same initialization step need to be followed for the library speech recognition. Without this library, we cannot perform the respective process. Okay. A next step is very important. You need to clear the background noises. You can imagine there will be a huge noise around you. At that time, you cannot record the accurate audio by using the by using this program. For that purpose, we have to clear the background noises for catching up with accurate audio from our microphone. So only we are calling the adjust for ambient noises object to clear the background noises. Okay, after clearing the noises around you, you have to record the audio from your microphone. For that purpose, here we are using an object called listen and inside this object we are passing the parameter as a source. Source means the microphone that you connected to your computer. Okay, so this step is very important. Okay, and then we are moving to the next step of this script. First, you need to declare a variable called wiki search and in this variable we have to type wikipedia.summary and, and in this object you need to pass the parameter called as text so this text variable does the speech to text conversion when you are asking any doubts by using the audio form this library converts that audio into a text format and it can process that text with wikipedia library the wikipedia library only takes the input as a text form so only we are using the speech recognition library to convert that audio into text form. Okay. So the next process is we need to pass the variable into an object. So declare an object called engine.say and inside this object you need to pass the variable wiki search. So that's all about the code and let's run this program. History of Python Programming The programming language Python was conceived in the late 1980s, and its implementation was started in December 1989 by Guido van Rossum at CWI in the Netherlands as a successor to ABC capable of exception handling and interfacing with the Amoeba operating system. Van Rossum is Python's principal author, and his continuing central role in deciding the direction of Python is reflected in the title given to him by the Python community, Benevolent Dictator for Life, BDFL. However, Van Rossum stepped down as leader on July 12, 2018. Python was named after the BBC TV show Monty Python's Flying Circus. Python 2.0 was released on October 16, 2000, with many major new features, including a cycle detecting garbage collector, in addition to reference counting, for memory management and support for Unicode. However, the most important change was to the development process itself, with a shift to a more transparent and community-backed process. Python 3.0, a major, backwards incompatible release, was released on December 3, 2008 after a long period of testing. Many of its major features have also been backported to the backwards compatible, while by now unsupported, Python 2.6 and 2.7. So you can see that our program works well. If you, have, if you have any doubts kindly ask me in the comment section i will reply at any time okay 
So that's all about this video. If you like this video, give a like and subscribe and share for more interesting scripts in Python. Thanks for watching and thank you. See you on next video.